Hey guys, so for those of you who watched my previous video um, on the vibration issue that I was having with my exit, you would have seen that I showed you guys what those wheels look like um, that were on my car with the multi PCD slots. And after various other remedies and tires and all kinds of things, um, and balancing literally once a week for three months. Um, because balancing would resolve the vibration slightly and then two days later it would be out again. Well, it turns out that the multi-PCD issue was becoming more of a problem on the car as the wheels were getting older. And I don't think that those wheels can last longer than three or four years. I had them on the car for three years and um, just suddenly in February, uh, my car developed a vibration while I was driving. And I honestly didn't think that it could be a wheel or that a wheel could become out of balance just while you're driving unless you hit something, which I didn't. So I replaced the wheels now in my car and the moment I drove out on the freeway, the vibration was gone. And I was extremely elated because I now have new wheels and new tires on the car and now it's driving like it used to again. And I have this beautiful, firm but supple Jaguar XF uh, drive again. So, um, what I actually found while doing my research, and I just want to mention this for those of you who do have vibration and you don't know where it's coming from, because Jaguar were actually going to, they are the ones who in initially suspected the wheels were the issue, and I didn't believe them. I should have actually trusted them on that and just replace the wheels. Um, instead of wasting a lot of money um, having my old wheels powder coated and all this kind of thing and, and thinking I could put them back on the car when they themselves were buckled as well originally. What Jaguar were going to do now is they were actually going to take the drivetrain of my car apart. They were going to take the diff out and the prop shaft and the side shafts uh, and send them in to see if they were actually balanced and um, I didn't really want to go through that. I didn't want to, I didn't want them to touch my car's drivetrain because I was scared that it would never be the same again or that they'd cock something up. Not saying that, I, that they would, I was just afraid that that might happen, you know, with the luck that I've actually had in the last few months. I decided to replace the wheels as a last resort before we go, you know, drivetrain route and luckily for me it has resolved it but for those of you who are having vibrational issues there are apps that you can actually download and i bought an app um, i think it was around three dollars or two dollars fifty i bought an app on the play store and this app measures vibrations and um, you know cabin sounds and all kinds of things and from that you can deduce what is actually uh, causing your vibration um, now it's not going to tell you what it is, but you can deduce for that yourself by doing some basic calculations. Um, now normally your tires, if, if you've got to measure the rotational speed of your tires at a certain speed. So if the vibration is coming in at 100 kilometers per hour, which is 60 miles per hour, then you've got to measure the rotational speed of the tire doing that speed um, in your car. So. I calculated at my vibration came in at 140 kilometers per hour, which is 80 miles per hour. So I measured the rotational speed of my tire at that speed. And um, the rotational speed of my tire at 140 kilometers per hour was 18 times per second. So that gives you a frequency of 18 hertz. Uh, likewise, you can also measure the rotational speed of your prop shaft, your drive shaft, at that speed. So if the vibration again is at 140 kilometers per hour or 80 miles per hour, you measure, um, you, there's a calculation and I'll share it with you. Um, you measure the rotational speed of the prop shaft at 140 kilometers per hour. And mine was rotating at around uh, 63 hertz. Um, so, for 63 times per second at 140, which gives you around 60 hertz. So, um, 
I've actually picked up that the prop shaft is always going to be between 60 and 80 hertz depending on, I mean you've got to be doing a hell of a speed for it to, to be doing 80 hertz but normal driving is going to be between 50 and 60 hertz so you know and and your wheel will be between 16 and 18 hertz so you know you can just use those basic measurements as uh, a yardstick to measure whether it is prop shaft related or whether it's wheel related so um, I've learned a lot during this process and I'm actually glad it did happen because I did learn a lot and um, I know for future reference if this ever happens to me again uh, to as the dealer did suspect the wheels first you know I know that dealers are supposed to have you know sensitive equipment uh, vibration measuring equipment where they can actually tell you what's actually going wrong with your car but unfortunately my dealer didn't have this and um, it was an expensive lesson but uh, it's a lesson learned so I'm going to show you the wheels right now show what they look like and uh, do some beauty shots of the car as well so this is what the wheel looks like a quite deep dish actually I didn't even notice that after I had them fitted but so much so that you can't really see the valve the tire valve it's sort of hidden in there way in there and um, these wheels are 18 inch 8J and they're 108 PCD so they fit the Jaguar 100% I believe they'll also fit Ford certain Ford models as well as Volvo and Alfa Romeo um, I think the Julia and some of the other models but they're actually very nice and um, I'm going to show you from a different angle sort of go inwards um, to the center and I really think they're very nice so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull my car out and um, show you guys some beauty shots of the wheels So I've got my car running right now and because of the uh, bright sunlight it's a little difficult to capture the overall picture of my car um, <laughs> with these wheels so I kind of have to move around a little bit with the camera and do some trickery but I think on the overall it looks very very nice. and pan out and then the wheels get lost in the light so there you can get an idea of the deep dish of how the wheels actually go in at the center whereas my old wheels were actually just um, pretty flat so over here you can see what I was talking about where the valve the tire valve is actually sitting it's way inside the wheel and I can tell you this it's going to be difficult to wash these wheels and keep them clean especially with Jaguar brake dust I think any of you who have an XF are pretty well aware that these cars generate an immense amount of brake dust and they're uh, not very easy to clean. <laughs> 